Hello dear Capri, Sun, Moon and Rising and let's see what's in store for you. By the way, what did you do to deserve these kind of cards? I don't like these cards so much for this month for you. But you know what? They're just cards and these are just weeks. And what happens is that we have the power to change it all with our willpower and with our positive thinking. So we are going to do that. So let's get started, my dear Capri. The first week of February here for you. Mm -hmm. What's happening? You're in conflict with someone or you're conflicted or you're conflicted with yourself, my dear Capri. There is something happening. There is somebody who is pulling on the triggers. There is somebody who is provoking you. There is some thing inside of you that is at conflict with yourself. There is an inner tug of war for some of you. Well, for some of you, it's that external things are affecting you at this point of time. Maybe it's a partner who is not feeling fine. Maybe it's a relative, an elderly person at home who is not feeling fine, who are under the weather a bit. So, or maybe it's a lot of work that you have uh, on your plate. And because of that, uh, you have to deal with everything all at once. And you're feeling rather tired. Maybe it is just because of the weather that you feel a bit, you know, that you are stuck. Uh, maybe you were traveling somewhere and you get stuck because of the weather conditions. And then that is a pretty much a challenge that comes in. There is an energy of provocation uh, coming in. So just beware, my dear Capris, is that somebody can provoke you to say or to do wrong things also, or to just, you know, get upset okay or it can also be that there is somebody in the house is not fine and you in the, in your house is not fine feeling fine or are not behaving right and because of that it is really hurting you inside so this is the energy that i'm picking up and also i see for capris in the first week is that there can be a lot of administrative things to deal with um, maybe something was promised and it is not happening. Maybe some papers are missing. These kind of uh, challenges also can arise in the first week. And for Capri students, I see that you will have a lot to deal with when it comes to your studies. So make sure that you break things into portions instead of taking all at once. Okay, just make things into the small, small, you know, like you can't eat the whole cake all at once you have to break it into small small pieces so you have to do that in the first week just break your responsibility into small pieces and then deal one thing at a time and prioritize okay for some of the capris it can be money matters also that are not so easy to deal with so you are trying to find ways to deal with these money matters now now we go to the second week of february now the second week of february as you can see, you are dealing with a Scorpio energy. Somebody is a Scorpio, somebody close to you and you're dealing with them for some of the Capris. For some of you, it is that you're making a clear cut decision, a decision to break off, a decision to break off from a toxic relationship, a decision to break off from a toxic group of friends, a decision to break off from a toxic work situation or a toxic job. For some of you, it is about uh, feeling rather tired because the first week has been a bit tiring. So you feel a bit tired. So you're a bit under the weather. You feel a bit gloomy, gloomy. Okay. So I would like to say go dance, uh, uh, you know, do some creative stuff. Sing. Singing is really nice. You know, you feel very nice. It kind of beats the stress, okay, because you're breathing and, you know, you feel nourished after that. So try singing, even if you're not a good singer that people might be saying. But you know what? You don't need to be a good singer to sing. You just have to sing out of joy and everything is so nice, right? So try to do that in the second week if you're feeling under the weather, if you're feeling down, okay. And for some of you, it is uh, that you you have to move your body, okay. Because uh, for the people who are living in cold countries right now, you can face uh, real problems with your health, okay, because of the mental health actually, because there is no sunlight and sunlight is required for us to feel happy, okay, and feel nice. So as there is no sunlight, so what, do you, what do you do? Okay, so you try to move your body, you try to take up an exercise program, you try to 
run in the house, you know, if you have a treadmill or walk or, you know, do some exercises, you know, uh, do some qigong, do some hatha yoga uh, or whatever exercises you can do or dance, yeah, you know, feel nice, you know, just let that thing, uh, you know, let that gloom go away through your workouts, my dear Capris. So the second week I would like to tell you is just be careful, don't get... Um, enslaved by low morale and negative thinking pattern okay just be careful about that for some of the capris it can be something related to somebody who has crossed over to another realm uh, or you learn about somebody's demise in the second week please so that's a wonderful energy indeed so on that note i would say thank you for listening Please do like, share and comment and I shall see you next time. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.